you were to Google the largest biotech companies in the world, depending on the website, you will mostly come across companies that generally are known as pharma companies. That's because the big pharma companies actually have huge biotech sectors as well. A lot of pharma companies are increasingly trying to produce their products using biotech methods if possible, which in some cases is not. Or you may also have heard the term biopharma products or biopharmaceuticals, which in this case means biotechnological methods or products. There's a small difference between these two terms, which I'm not going to go into now, but just remember, in this case, biopharma product means biotechnological products. The reason why pharma companies are stressing on biopharma products is mostly because biopharma or biotech products mostly get broken down better inside a living organism. And relatively speaking, they produce lesser side effects, mainly because they are produced in living organisms or the edicts or the reactants are obtained from the living organisms. And they are cheaper to produce in many cases. That's why there's a smooth transition between traditional pharma methods into biotech methods for a, for a while now. Okay, so here's the difference between biotech and pharma products. Biotech products are produced by using living organisms or their products such as bacteria or enzymes to manufacture drugs. And pharmaceutical products are drugs which have been produced using chemicals in context of healthcare in this case. Almost all the big pharma giants have really huge biotech sectors or departments. There are many pure biotech companies, but they are smaller in comparison. And when we talk about the biggest or largest biotech companies by market size or by sales, those are indeed the big pharma companies which we are going to talk about in this video. And traditionally, these companies are pharma companies. So now, you can classify biotech companies on the number of product sales or on total market size. And in this video, we are going to classify them on the basis of their total market capital. In other words, their total worth. But there is one thing that you should keep in mind. The numbers shown in this video are not just of the biotech sectors in these companies, but of their total size. But if you do a detailed research on these companies, you will come to realize that most of their revenue comes from their biotech and pharma products, which shows that the revenues of these big companies mostly come from their biotech or pharma sectors. That's why they're called pharma or biotech companies. And these companies do dominate the biotech world indeed. So let's take a look at the five biggest biotech companies in the world as of 2021. So the biggest biotech company in the world as of now is Johnson & Johnson, of course. According to Forbes, Johnson & Johnson is worth almost $480 billion, making it the top biotech or pharma company in the world. Let's take a look at their website. Johnson & Johnson is operational in 60 different countries, but with all its products and its subsidiaries included, its products are sold in more than 175 countries, making it the biggest biotech or pharma company in the world. And they produce not only pharmaceutical or biotech products, but also consumer health, like beauty and other healthcare products, medical devices, and many other products and services. You can also see the countries that they are located in on their website, like any other big company. The second biggest biotech company in the world as of 2021 is the Swiss company known as Roche. According to Forbes, Roche is worth $308 billion. So this is what the website of Roche looks like. It's pretty straightforward. The headquarters of Roche is in Basel in Switzerland. Actually applied in Basel for an internship and student jobs four different times. And four different times I got rejected, so it hurts a little bit. But anyways, Roche is active in 100 countries around the world. And as of 2017, they have about 94,000 employees, which is just insane. You can check out their websites, check out their subsidiaries or their location or any career opportunities or maybe just their products. I mean, their website is pretty simple, so check it out. The third biggest company in this list is Eli or Eli Lilly. According to Forbes, Eli Lilly is worth $293 billion. You can also go to their website and check out all their facts and figures. And the, on their website, if you click on company and key facts, you can see all their numbers, how many employees they have, how many countries uh, are their products sold in, and, and almost everything you need to know about Eli Lilly. 
I myself find this website pretty sweet to look at actually. I don't know why. And if you look at their biotech product sales only, they're the fifth biggest biotech company in that sense. But as we said from the beginning, we'll only look at the total market capital. The fourth biggest biotech company on this list is Pfizer. And I think most of us have already heard a lot about Pfizer in the last year or two. According to Forbes, Pfizer is worth $271 billion. This is how their website looks like. You can check them out if you like. Pfizer has almost 79,000 employees all over the world. Pfizer, like any other big company, produces many different products, but they are focusing really hard on biotechnology, which you can see on their website. And that's pretty nice, I think. The fifth biggest biotech company in the world is Epi, which according to Forbes is worth $270 billion. You can check their website. And speaking from my own personal experience, I had two interviews at Epi. And speaking for myself, the first impression of the company was really great. Really professional and attractive place to work, I think. But anyways, on their website, you can see all their facts and figures, how many employees they have, how many countries are they active in, and many additional informations which you may or may not like to know. I'm also going to list the biggest pharma companies from number 6 to number 10 in this video. Here you can see the biggest companies from number 6 to number 10. Novo Nordisk, Merck & Co, AstraZeneca, Novartis and Bristol Myers, as you can see from their total worth according to Forbes, are the next 5 biggest companies in the world. All the information in this video are taken from reliable sources like Forbes or Fortune.com, Statista.com, CompaniesMarketCap.com and of course each individual website of these companies which you can check for yourself if you want to. I'll link all the websites in the description and if you have any questions just comment them in the comment section. I will try to answer them and sorry if I take too long with that. So that's been it for this one. Thank you all for being here and hope to catch you guys in the next video.